Good afternoon. Today again we are in the studio of Manas Media. And we are three here, Dr. Chimanova, Professor Carlson, and me. And we have a student from English Language and Literature Department, Isaac Abdullah Sowa. Before going into our discussion topics, this, going, this program uh, is going to be the last program before the last. We're almost at the end of this semester, and we're going to have another program, maybe next week or the other week. But first of all, we are going to discuss these issues here in this program. First of all, um, we are going to have an overview, a quick overview of our, what we have done so far and what we have achieved or not. And then maybe in some other programs we're going to discuss in detail. But today we're going to discuss integrating the feature movie program into the overall, overall syllabus or curriculum in the departments. And then a new topic and a new issue for by Professor Carlson to roll all the background music in setting the tone of movie and what is the role of that and the effect, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And first of all, thank you for being with us again. And I would like to ask Ainazik to introduce herself very briefly. Okay. Hello. Uh, my name is Aizirek. Aizirek Abdullasa, and I'm a student of uh, Did I say Ainazik? Aizirek. I'm sorry. Aizirek. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Mm, <clears throat> I, I'm a student of English Language and Literature Department, and I like my profession. I will be a future teacher of English language, and I'm very glad to, yes, to stay here with you and discuss the theme and about movies because uh, it helps us in future. Uh, yeah, so how can I say to improve our language at first and. And also uh, to be a good listener, maybe, yes, also uh, <clears throat> with the help of these movies, uh, I improved my pronunciation or something like that. So um, I never regret uh, to participate in. Okay, and You're a full-time student, huh? In, yeah. in watching the movies. Yes. So did you watch all the movies? Yes, I I tried to not miss, and so I was yes. I didn't You're miss. second grade, right? Yes, I want to say thanks for all of you. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, having having thanks from the students is wonderful, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. We appreciate you just join the, join us with the movies, mm -hmm. and I'll ask some other time in in the during the this recording. I'm <coughs> going to ask some other questions. Now, thank you very much for just being with us here. Uh, first of all. Um, and Professor Carlson, uh, what could you tell us the, uh, how we, what we have achieved so far? Just giving mm -hmm. this project to our students mm -hmm. for almost 11, 12 movies, yes. as far yes. as I know, uh -huh. yeah. I think all the movies we chose were very, very good movies. Some won Academy Awards. The actors were all famous. Gone with the Wind is a a movie that never dies. It's your favorite movie, right? One of my favorites. <laughs> it's a real classic. So most of the movies were chosen, I think, with, with some um, care, uh, with some purpose. They're all clear. Some had dialects, some, uh, so the students could hear different dialects, different uh, regions of the world. Uh, perhaps one of the problems was that uh, it's impossible to show a complete movie in one session. Sometimes the movie is too long. The students have to wait a week to see the completion. So I think in the future it might be best to show the complete movie in one session and maybe have the second session for, for a discussion. Discussion, right? Mm -hmm. But some Rather of the movies are very week. long. What? Some of the movies are more than two and a half hours or two hours. Yes, yes. So need to be divided, but mm -hmm. uh, it'd really be better to show them, if possible, in one session. Sometimes the students go, the same students don't come back, so they miss the yeah, miss We sequence. still have a tennis pro problem. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. but I think that in overall the movies were very effective and uh, students enjoyed them. And I think they learned something. New vocabulary, expressions, different actors. For uh, example, uh, Audrey Hepburn, who starred in the movie uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Tiffany, well-known yeah. actors, 
has a beautiful voice, beautiful English. And it was a, really a pleasure you're to hear You're a fan of classical movies, huh? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I think there was some benefit and there was a message in all the movies. Yeah, thank you very much. And I, as far as I know, and you have also mentioned that we didn't have just quite a few students, right? And they, uh, they missed and they didn't participate in the movie sessions. Right. The mm -hmm. attendance was a big problem. Attendance was a problem. Uh, Maybe because of the time that we chose. I mean, we just we yes. showed the movie. Yes. And next time or next year or next coming, coming years, we have to discuss on that. I mean, yeah. just. Well, that leads to the question, uh, should they be on the curriculum? They shouldn't be extracurricular, but yeah, but it's in the, yeah, in the it's, syllabus. It's, it you, shouldn't be extracurricular activity, right. you say. They should receive credit you know, yeah. for attending the movies. First of all, we have to just and convince them mm -hmm. the use of the movies, advantage of the movies, the mm -hmm. department staff, right? Yes, yes. the department staff And then staff we just, to, just yes. go with an offer, mm -hmm. and then they can just, we, mm -hmm. we just tell them, hey, could you please include our movie, movie watching session, this project, into our our syllabus or curriculum, right? For example, in the translation department, they could be used for uh, exercises, translation exercises. It should be, yeah. Someone sitting in the booth, translating yeah. the captions or... No need for the booth, maybe the, the microphones and some of the yeah. um, ear, earphones, yeah. that's enough. This is excellent uh, yeah. exercise and it's uh, simultaneous translation. Yeah, it's simultaneous and also uh, as, well as, exactly as well as subtitle translation. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Carlson and Dr. Chimanova. You have been with us for all time, yes. even though you come late. <laughs> okay, what do you think about that? We what we have achieved so far, what we haven't mm -hmm. in this project. I mean, uh, not in terms of the your department only. Okay. In both departments. Mm, so um, I think after Isaac, I just want to follow her idea that. Uh, it was really enjoyable uh, to watch movies with you, with students. And I think that I'm sure that um, every movie was um, mm, some kind of contribution into students' improvement, into students' improvement, maybe not just uh, from linguistic point of view, but also some mm, psychological, because I think that most of films really, they are really meaningful. Some of them are classic, uh, psychological, historical, and uh, of course, still, I insist on um, including this into curriculum. Yeah, um, what's uh, the procedure? Your you know, the problem, I think, attendance, and maybe I, I just suggest maybe thinking over some uh, motivating ideas for next year. How can we just um, attract students? What, what is the procedure for inclusion in the curriculum? Does it have to go it's through long, the Senate? It's a long Senate, time. It will, be Senate it will take a it's long gonna time. It's going to be in the Senate, and then also some of the regulation from Kyrgyz, Kyrgyz ministry. 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 Ministry, yes. Mm -hmm. So but there are a lot, of, a lot of it process. Can, it, it takes more than, more than six or, I'm sorry, more than three or four months. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is not enough to just to be approved by Senate. Mm -hmm. And if it is that so, it's no problem, but So we have to drop, drop a proposal first and then yeah. present it to the... Yeah, but first of all, we have to just come, we have to find out and write down the contents of the, 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 pro, the, the, the project. It's not yes. a project, it is the, it is the, it is the, it is the course with credit, mm -hmm. but we have to write down and it should be with credit or without credit or we, I mean, we have to discuss that maybe next program, right? Before mm -hmm. the, yes. I mean, before we close. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. Anyway, just I think for next year, if we uh, are going to continue this uh, activity, I think that I don't know, maybe some kind of advertisement or some other motivating ideas. We can do this, that. I think I yeah. but this we, is a good we, idea. Posters, posters. Uh, as posters yeah. we, we we started that with personal. I mean, individually. Yeah. And we didn't publicize that very much so far, mm -hmm. but. Um, the only thing that I would like to emphasize here, um, some of the staff at our departments mm -hmm. don't pay right. much attention to what we have done so far. I know, I know. I know. We're not playing a game here, right? You're right, yes. Exactly. We're doing something very special and we're doing something mm -hmm. very academic. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And all around the world, as far as I know, because I have worked what, teaching language with the movies for the last 11 years, 
I know the literature, so there are a lot of people around the world using this technique mm -hmm. and using the movies, visual things, and using oh. some other dramas, yep. whatever. Some departments have courses in movie. Of course, yeah. History of movie, history of See, motion and picture, cinematography. And, and thanks to technology, we have a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. to be used in the classroom or out of classroom. Not, I mean, both extracurricular activity or included in the curriculum. Anyway, we can, we can discuss. We have to just tell them what we have done so far. We are, we're going to try to tell them, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, of yeah. course. And it should overlap with other classes, you know, because that prevents some students from coming. Yeah, this, uh, this time it it's overlapping. It has to be scheduled. Yeah, scheduled, yeah. yeah. If, because it is not scheduled. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to ask you the question, very general question, because I, I used to ask many students over here, uh, what, from the beginning to the end so far, uh, as far as I know, you have just joined in our sessions, movie watching sessions, almost all of them, and from the beginning to the end. And what do you think, or how do students just benefit from or take advantage of move, watching movies? in your own experience and on behalf of your, on behalf of your friends? Okay. And <clears throat> experience. Uh, I have got and a lot of experience. So and the people uh, and the students who are coming here and who are coming here, uh, they, how can I say, they at first, uh, uh, they, they like the also, uh, the actors, yes. First of all, have you had any discussion among yourselves and with your friends about about movies. the movie? Why do you come here? Yeah. Why uh, do you watch the, that movie, those movies, all week, mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. week at four o'clock on Wednesday? Why um, did you discuss that, or have you had any mm -hmm. any kind of conversation? A lot like of uh, most uh, most of films were uh, hi historical, yes, movies, and so. But uh, we have discussed only uh, intern, yes, intern, because it's, I think it's more contemporary. The intern, right? In, the intern. The yes. intern. Yeah, yeah, the intern. So we have discussed it with friends because uh, it's a very how can say, popular film among the uh, youngest people. So, and also uh, about uh, Scarlet, yes, Gun with the Wind, because uh, I like this film really. At first, I didn't like so, but when I uh, when I paid more attention to this film, I tried to understand something. Uh, yes, so we also have discussed about uh, Scarlet uh, and the Azimuth also, but uh, in general, we didn't have a time to discuss it, really. But um, in our Yes, in our views uh, uh, among the friends, but I don't know that uh, in other students. So, On a practical level, does a student, does a movie help increase vocabulary, for example? Yes, because uh, it was it's with subtitles, so uh, we can yes, use these? we could write some words into mm -hmm. the paper uh, during the film. Um, so yes, we mm -hmm. increase. Our and to listen to new dialects, different dialects. Yes, also dialects is very, yes. Mm -hmm. And during the film, you were also uh, how can say, asking, did you understand or not? You were saying some uh, vocabulary also, and mm -hmm. we, we catch it, all, all of them. Uh, so. By the way, uh, we wonder that. Uh, what is the use of, or did you find it very useful to get the handouts, or just a piece of paper? <laughs> because we spent a lot of time on it. Did you work yeah. through the yeah. questions at home afterwards? Mm, I really. Uh, they said F I F F FBI questions, FBI okay? FBI questions. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate all of you that uh, you made and yes, uh, with uh, with great deal all of all of this. And I also made copy, and mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. I want to try did it at home. But uh, yes, I I, I have uh, I had a lack of time, so I promise you, <laughs> did all of them you know, at home. Students could keep these handouts and refer to them from time to time to refresh their memories uh, about the film. You know, so. mm -hmm. 
about the characters, characters the main idea. The plot. I mean, if, if these, uh, these activities and this project is included in the curriculum, we don't need to give yeah. the handouts, but we are going to just give them quizzes yeah, and exams yes. and, and yes. midterms and finals, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this time we are just trying to get used, I mean, to get them used to just see beforehand watching the movies mm -hmm. to read the the starring artists, uh, I mean, actors and act actresses, and synopsis, and some other activities. So I think um, we couldn't make that very well, very effective. Still think we need to identify the different yeah. expressions, vocabulary, on the handout. So this is a, probably the useful part of it. I, I think it's, it's going to be a spoon feeding, right? Yes. <laughs> to give them the, the spoon handout. Spoon-fed education. <laughs> yes. Spoon-feeding education, right? Spoon-fed. Spoon-fed, yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, and uh, wait for our next questions. <laughs> okay, uh, Professor Carlson, you suggested here to discuss for today to roll out the background music in setting the tone of the movie. Mm -hmm. And I can ask something, if you, if you don't mind. Please. Uh, every time the, in the movies and from the, the modern movies nowadays, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they don't have a very classical music. Mm -hmm. They use some kind of music and effects, I mean musical right. effects. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think you mean that uh, in, some, in, some, in some movies which are specific to soundtrack, right? Soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you mean that? Yes. Uh, what could I you tell us about this so we can just add your ideas? Some movie, movies are identified from the music, the background music. I think they have a live orchestra playing with a conductor who, who has, with the, simultaneously with the speech. With, as, as the movie is projected on the screen and the orchestra plays and the mood changes in accordance with the mood of the, of the actors. If it's a somber mood, mood then somber music. If it's sad, sad music in a minor key, happy music in a major key, lively music, slow mu mu music, for example, for death. And all this was brought out by Richard Wagner in his operas. Each character had a motif. Each figure in the opera has his own motif. In Parsifal, in Tannhäuser, all these operas, this sort of maybe started with Wagner, the tone, the, the, the motif, the motif of the film. For example, in Gone to the Wind, the music, da, 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 de, da, da. This is the, uh, the plantation. This identifies the plantation, home, going home. And the music identifies this. So I think the music has a significant role in the setting the tone of the different scenes of the, of the uh, movie. And also, you know, in language teaching, music could be used to Students could sing these songs that come out at the movies. Some of the movies are identified because of a particular song like yeah. Titanic, yes. like Moon River and Breakfast at Tiffany's. You hear the music and you think of the music of the movie. You think of the actor who sings Even it. though you forget yeah. about the movie, but you right. remember the music. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the music. Uh -huh. Students could learn these uh, songs at home and then sing along with the, with the, the as they sing in a movie. And this is a good exercise. And it increases their uh, ability to connect, connected speech, connect words to other words. Can we? Can we? Com I'm sorry about that. Uh, can we com combine the using of the music and the songs in the movies mm -hmm. as part of the we, which we tried first, right? Yes. As part of the the curricular activity in the movies, as part of the the exercises. Yes. Yes. So it's it's yeah. also possible. Or we mm -hmm. can just. Mm -hmm. I, I think, as far as you remember, you just gave yeah, one of the I examples. I gave Moon, yeah. Moon River, for example, yeah, that's in, right. on the handout, the uh, words, and then the students. Uh, uh, my, my, I mean, what I would like to suggest here, uh, in some of the modern movies, there is no a single, single song. Right, there's just music. Just music and yes. soundtrack. I yes. mean, mm -hmm. no, no verses. Right, just the music, right. right? Just the music, just the sound. And right. yeah, uh -huh. see, remember uh, uh, what was the, what was the name of the movie? Zero zero seven. It was. Do you take the movie? Bob. Yes. Uh, there's only soundtrack on. No, no. It was still soundtrack, but the music went along with the the mood of the scene. Yeah, the, yeah, that's right. That's 
Uh, Dr. Chimano, what do you think about the same issue? Um, music, I think it is a really a significant part of our life and uh, it is really good, let's say, additional, um, um, how can I say, material in movie session. Mm -hmm. And I just want to remember about Moon River. I heard it uh, uh, two weeks ago, yes, approximately, yes. yes. You remembered it. Yes, remembered still it. melody is in my mind, yes, you know? Yes, exactly. Really, melody. Mm -hmm. So you remember the mem melody? Melody, yes. You don't remember the movie? I remember the movie, <laughs> yes, of course, but, uh, uh, you know, really, music, it is a really great idea. And so how she phrases, her phraseology, phrases, how the words flow into other words, sounds flow, melody, yes. moon, river, you know? <laughs> yes. Like, like a, you know, I mean, language is music. Music is language. So you put in your hand out the words from this song, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you just give them the student, I mean, the students, the music as a homework, I mean, as an assignment, mm -hmm. and they won't do that probably, that they will listen to music and then yes. just yes. carry out the other things and going yes. on. That's be done in the movie session. Yeah, in the movie itself. session, maybe, and yeah. it, should be, it should be done live, right? Yes, and live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about using the, the movie music, music and the songs? Yeah, and do you think in terms of watching movies, do you think it's going to be helpful for students to like the movie, to watch the movie, to come to the movie, to come to the movie theater and to attend the movie? Yes, also about the I, I, I ask many questions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yes, about music, yes, it's very, very important for us. For example, uh, let's take uh, Titanic, yes. Uh, the Titanic, uh, with the help of this music, uh, it was very colorful, very uh, impression. Emotional, huh? Emotional, yes, very, yes. I, uh, Celine Dion's. Impression, yes, Celine Dion's, uh, my heart will go on. Yes, uh, especially uh, the, with the help of this song, we can, uh, we can uh, sow the love between Rose and uh, Jack. Yes, Jack, Rose and Jack also. Oh, you uh, still remember the names? Yeah, of oh. course, because <laughs> Titanic is a very... <laughs> I only remember from my Titanic. Childhood, I know, yes, the musicals. <laughs> and the men flying. We had also uh, uh, sung several times and at classroom. And, and so um, about music also, uh, about, let's say, horror films, yes? Horror films also, it's not interesting without horror music. So it gives us... Uh, some kind of yes, great emotion uh, feelings. <laughs> mm. So for me, it's very important because let's take uh, that the how can I say the actors is uh, going somewhere yes in horror film, but it's uh, in in dark place yes. But, um, uh, but horror if movies. there is not a music, uh, he will he will just uh, uh, ordinary yes or how can I say yeah but uh, horror movie uh, horror movies will have horror horror music of course so like they're gonna dun, change the music dun, yes uh, and but I no no verses it. no verse in the movie you're gonna you're not you're not going to have any song just the music in the horror movie music the song the soundtrack yep. yes yep. another another way I mean um, this is going to be my last question for you today okay and we always I will oh really it. good this is an exam, <laughs> our exam. Uh, we always ask our students who, who came down here. Okay. And do you think that we show the movie with subtitle or without subtitle? I think with subtitles, yes. With subtitles? At first with subtitles, but next year, okay, without subtitles. Well, maybe every yes. other movie. Hmm? Mm. How about one movie is with subtitle, the other one without subtitle? For the week. Alternatively, mm. I mean. Uh, especially for me, I want to watch with subtitles at first. Did you read subtitles? If, yes. You read them as they... You read subtitles, right? Read subtitles, yes. Did you miss any scene when you read? Mm, I try to read all of them, but... But when you, tr when you read on the screen, okay. could you also follow the scenes? Yes, my, uh, my first... <laughs> really? I read with one, of, with, with one of your eyes, you read the subtitle, and then with one of the other eyes, you just watch the scene, huh? ability develops. I try to do something, I, yes, I think in that order develops. to understand film also. I think that develops. The, the more movies you see with subtitles, the more you will 
associate the subtitle with the scenery. Because, yes, as Mr. Well. Carlson mentioned, there are a lot of new vocabulary for us, new words. Yeah, but but we, give, words we give the vocabulary for hand. And That's hand the handout is for that. <laughs> Maybe uh, next time, we have to discuss, I mean, next year, we have to discuss with subtitle or without subtitle, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it has some advantages and disadvantages, yeah. as I believe. But well, I'm yeah. personally against subtitle. All the movies Next I bought. Year without, okay, without subtitles. <laughs> the movies <laughs> I brought from Germany. All these movies have subtitles in Turkish as well. Really? Because mm. there are quite a few Turks in Germany. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Um, anything to add? Final remarks for today? No, I think it's been a very useful session. Thank you. Um, thank you. you very much for joining us today again. And today, we are at the end of our session for this week. We discuss similar topics, and similar subjects, and with, with similar sentences, I believe. And we're trying to find solutions, to find some ideas, new ideas, insights, in using the future movies in our language teaching departments, which means international, I mean, the language and, and literature department and translation and interpretation department. Mm -hmm. For next movie session, we say goodbye to you and thanks to Manas Media again. Thank you very much. Goodbye.